And welcome back to Off the Press. This is uh, TBC Media's twice a week show we do, looking at local government and local elections. And um, today we're joined by my colleague uh, who covers county government for the Bakersfield, Californian, James Berger. I'm Theo Douglas. I cover city government for the Bakersfield, Californian. Also joining us is uh, Russell Johnson, owner of uh, Common Sense Consulting and former uh, Bakersfield City Council member from Ward 7 down there in uh, the south. Uh, and then, of course, we're uh, talking today with uh, Jackie Sullivan, the longest serving member of the Bakersfield City <coughs> Council. And she represents uh, part of the southwest, Ward 6. And uh, this, uh, this year, you're seeking a sixth four-year term, uh, November 8th, which uh, mm -hmm. would allow you, uh, if reelected, to continue your, your, uh, your streak as long as serving. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about, uh, if you would, about uh, what you're hearing uh, down there in your ward, which is, uh, of course, part of the southwest. It's kind of like the near southwest uh, next to uh, the ward that Russell uh, informally served. Mm -hmm. um, what are you hearing from residents, and uh, what, what, if any, are uh, some of the concerns that uh, may be prompting you to run this time? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I really haven't started going door to door yet. Oh, and uh -huh. I basically enjoy that. Yes. So I have until November, so I will spend my uh, my share of hours doing that. Very good. Um, but I'm I'm not. I, I look forward to that, and and normally I'm I'm greeted in a very friendly way, mm -hmm. and if there are complaints, I welcome hearing about them. Mm -hmm. In fact, Theo. Um, of course, I think I mentioned that I have my office in my home. Yes. So I am available basically 24-7. Mm -hmm. um, but when someone calls me about a concern, I thank them. Oh, because w we don't know until we know. Mm -hmm. And um, our intent is to, you know, I'm a problem solver. Mm -hmm. uh, at least I know who to call when there is a problem. Right. So I, I welcome their call. I make it very clear that I appreciate mm -hmm. hearing what they have, have just told me. Yeah. And so um, I'm really greeted pretty well door to door, and, and uh, I think people appreciate my attitude. Very good. Well, uh, certainly Bakersfield is known for its hospitality, so mm -hmm. I should think uh, you you would be many yeah, times. Yeah, <laughs> very very true. Speaking of those uh, those phone calls, you get to your your home office. Um, are there uh, particular uh, issues or concerns you're hearing from residents beyond, say, barking dog type stuff? Any uh, development going on in your ward, uh, which uh, you know we could see uh, issues we could see come to the fore in coming weeks and months? Yeah. Well, we we really have a very business friendly staff and attitude at City Hall. Mm -hmm. And certainly the council members welcome new businesses. Yes. Um, so uh, I, I was surprised. Actually, I, I asked for a list of new businesses mm -hmm. in, in uh, mainly, okay, <clears throat> I am, my Ward 6 is west of 99, mm -hmm. of course, right next to Ward 7. That's right. Uh, west of 99. Uh, in some areas from Stockdale Highway down to Taft Highway over to Gosford. Mm -hmm. So my main business area is um, uh, is White Lane mm -hmm. District. No, Ming, excuse me, Ming, White Lane. Um, yeah, Ming, White Lane, and then District, and then Gosford. Mm -hmm. um, so... Um, you know, I, I have been surprised there have been six new businesses open within the in, in the last two years. Mm -hmm. So they're they're continually, you know, we, we help them. They have to get licensed and the permits and mm -hmm. and um, but that's where so I also have a, a business friendly ward mm -hmm. and there are always issues and um, and people will call perhaps complaining that things are moving too slowly through the planning department or they're they feel like they're they're getting uh that getting the runaround perhaps and so i'm happy to call and just say do mm -hmm. what you can you know just where is it in your stack you know they're right. this is costing them mm -hmm. uh so please find it and and get back to them call mm -hmm. them and, and answer their questions and help things move forward. So right. um, we get, yes, we get barking dogs. Uh, mm -hmm. 
um, and that can be a problem. So I get a variety of, of calls, and I'm, mm -hmm. I, I don't mind. Now, uh, talk about these, uh, these six new businesses, if you would. I know that list includes uh, Lengthwise Brewery. Uh, I, I, there's a, I think there's a couple restaurants on there. Um, are any of these uh, new businesses uh, the uh, cases that you referred to? I mean, uh, do you feel like any of these six were uh, at all delayed uh, in their process going through City Hall? You know, I mentioned that if I get a call of concern about it being delayed, but mm -hmm. I really think our staff does the best job possible in, in, in helping new businesses open their doors. So that, mm -hmm. I don't hear that very often. So but you haven't had really to get uh, yeah. directly involved with these right, businesses. Right, but when I do, anything I hear about, I, I, I'm able to help. Very good, mm -hmm. excellent. So Jackie, it's election time. Uh, you're transitioning to the fact that first election you've had in 12 years and you got to get ready for it. Um, have you, you know, started to get your logo ready, order your signs, do all the fun stuff? Yes. And you mentioned you haven't started walking yet. That'll probably come, come later. Um, your, when your opponent was in here, he raised a uh, question about your campaign debt. He said you had, I think it was over $50,000 in campaign debt. And um, he mentioned uh, that he felt like it should be paid off. Have you, what are your thoughts about that? Are you planning on getting What are there? my thoughts? <laughs> of yeah. course it'll be paid off. Uh, that is the, that is certainly the upside of being challenged because I'm, I'm, n n I'm forced into having a campaign, which really I welcome because I am, uh, I'm in the process of, of fundraising and um, it needs to be paid off. I just haven't had, I've had a zero balance for years. I, I haven't needed to have, you don't have a fundraiser unless you're having a campaign. So that's why I have the debt that I do. And of course, interest has been, has been gaining. So of course, it's going to be paid off. You know, I'm hoping to be able to clear it up with this election. And um, if I go out of office before it's completely cleared up, then I'll start paying on, on my own. So I'll, I have a good understanding with the person whose debt it is, and uh, it, it certainly will be paid off. So let's talk about the nuts and bolts of the campaign. You've been through a few. I've been through a few. What, you said your favorite part or one of the parts you liked was going door to door. What's mm -hmm. the part about the campaigning piece of it? that you don't like as much as the other parts? Uh, dialing for dollars. <laughs> that, is, that is very unfun, you know, at, you know asking. Um, but I, I just have to put, my mind, put myself in a mindset that I realize that I'm giving. I, I, I really I feel I do a good job. I know I do a good job. Um, and so I think that I, my constituents appreciate the fact that they can reach me easily and that I take care of business quickly. And so my thinking is that I'm giving whomever I'm calling, asking for a donation, I'm giving them the opportunity to support and help reelect a good candidate, a good candidate. So you're, um, you're gonna be raising your money you admit it's difficult. Tell about, you know, there's going to be forums, there's going to be events you're going to go to. What's the one event you're looking forward to? Um, is there one in your ward that they do every year for campaigning that you'd like to go to and that's your favorite, you know, kind of community In my ward, uh, well, I'm having a fundraiser October 4th, Tuesday, October 4th. I live at, at Pinewood Lake. So I'm having it at, at one of the nicer places oh. uh, at, at Pinewood Lake, which... Uh, in the ward, there you yeah, go. Yeah, it, 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 it should be, we would be saying that we don't have any nice places in our ward if we go outside of our ward. And so we have a lot of nice places in, in Ward 6. But Dream Maker Bath and Kitchen, the, uh, um, uh, the, the Grays, oh gosh, I saw them both at lunch. Ever, um, yes, Everett and Patty Gray. 
they advertise on TV, but they they remodel and they do a beautiful job remodeling. So they have just remod. They are one of they are my neighbors. They have remodeled their place just beautifully. So they're thrilled about um, hosting, and so that will be where that will be the location. So you've had a long time campaign consultant to Mark Abernathy. Mm-hmm. Um, for those of us who've been around the political scene, know that brings uh, to the table with it someone who's knowledgeable, someone who's got the the wherewithal to get you across the finish line in consulting. Um, are you afraid that um, your opponent this year is going to bring anything extra to the table, or is going to hit on an issue that you're not prepared to deal with? There's nothing I'm not. I mean, if an issue comes up, I'd better be prepared to deal with it. I will deal with it. I have no idea, you know, I- I what he. But I don't think there's anything that that would be something I haven't had dealings with to some degree. So he has his own strategy. Uh, I did not see the interview, so I have no idea what he has in mind. I had a chance to meet him. Um, yes. Uh, just two nights ago, there was a, uh, a, a, a meet and greet. Were you there, Russell? I, I, w- no, I was uh, not there. Oh, okay. Well, it was very nice. Uh, all of the candidates, and I heard that Bobby Cloud was going to be there. And so I thought, hmm, that's interesting. Had never met him before. One thing I will be – oh, so anyway, I, I quickly went over. I think he was a little – when he saw me going toward him – I th- he seemed he was a little I won't say alarmed, but he I think he wondered what I was going to be saying to him. Well, I put my hand out in a very genuine way and uh, introduced myself, and I met him for the first time. So it, it broke the ice, and that gave me an opportunity uh, to to be able to do that. But I have to say that for me, for him to be running for city council and it's a great experience, you know. It's getting involved. It's it's a great experience, but yet um, I've never I've never I had never met him before, and when I first got elected 21 years ago, I supported the good things and the good people, the good things going on. I I was out in the community supporting people, supporting uh, ac- activities, events, nonprofits. I spent a lot, and genuinely, I think that's part of our role, um, to, and I had done it before I was elected. So you, uh, that's, that's important. So, but I had, have never seen him around. Um, I'm going to channel Nicole Parra's question here. She, she always asks about family, and what role do you see your family uh, playing in this election, if any at all? Oh, my gosh, I have a busy family. Their role is just... Just they support me 100%, but they do their own thing. I have a, 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 a my first daughter is a an English teacher at Bakersfield High School, which she loves. And uh, then my middle daughter, of course, is is not here, but my youngest daughter is a is a nurse, and she has just opened two assisted living homes, so she is very busy. But they. But we keep in touch. They encourage me over the telephone, and and we go. We're concert going. We're a concert going family. So we go to all the concerts. The Beach Boys. I mean, we're, you know, we, we just love going to concerts, and that's what we we do together. I was just talking fun. about that concert at lunch today. Did Did you go? <laughs> I did not go, but oh, uh, so that was good. the lunch table discussion where I was. Oh, eating today. it was fun. It was <laughs> wonderful. That great music. I know so our uh, city manager went to that uh, concert. I uh, had to be sure and uh, talk to him. I had something I Were had you to there? reach him on uh, Friday afternoon before he, uh, you know, was uh, headed over to the concert that night. No, actually, I didn't uh, attend that. A but, lot uh, of people were there. There was a I'm wonderful sure. turnout, all ages, but certainly my age was uh, was there, mouthing mm-hmm. every word to the songs. So it was it was a fun night. And some of those songs are timeless. Yeah. So um, I know we're, speaking of timeless, we're almost running out This here. is true. I wanted to ask one last question um, before we wrap up for the day. Uh, Jackie, you've had, in your tenure on the council, you've seen a lot of different staff. What do you think is your greatest accomplishment 
um, and you see a lot of different <laughs> things get done. What's your greatest accomplishment in the time you've served on the council? Oh, good. I, I have some good ones. Um, we now recognize the top, from my suggestion and encouragement, every year we recognize the top students, the top high school students in every school. To begin with, I honestly didn't realize that at that time, there were, I think there were 16 or 17. We've been doing this for over 10 years now. But there's a nice reception. And uh, the, the students, it, it's just wonderful. It's very well planned. The, the, the mayor gives a certificate of congratulations to every top student. But it, it's very, very nice. And then we have the class pictures displayed in the, in the foyer of our, of our uh, city hall. And now I, I, I'm, um, <clears throat> um, we've started having the light, the trees lit on Chester Avenue and at the Robo Bank Arena year round. You know, why take them down? I, I went to Seattle it, it, um, a number of years ago, looked out the window, uh, and it was in August, and the trees in the median down Main Street were lit. That gave me the idea. I thought, this is wonderful. And, and really, it provides a, a very, um, it gives more lighting, but it's just a, a welcoming and, and a festive and um, more safety and welcoming. So the, the words that are important to the Downtown Business Association. But that's something that we're still working out. We're getting a contractor. Uh, it's definitely going to be privatized. A, a young, uh, there are businesses that are bidding for that. So those two are the, the fun things, two of the main things that I personally have done. And then, of course, Bakersfield is the founding city for In God We Trust America. That's something that will be part of our history forever. So I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited. I love projects like that. So I feel good. good about them. Excellent. Well, uh, we thank you for uh, joining us today on Off the Press. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks to everyone out there uh, watching for joining us as well. Uh, I'm uh, Theo Douglas. Uh, again, I cover Bakersfield uh, City Government for the Californian. And uh, our guest uh, today has been Councilwoman Jackie Sullivan, Bakersfield's longest serving city council representative. And um, she's uh, running for a sixth full term, uh, six, uh, yeah, term uh, on November 8th. So um, thanks, for, uh, thanks for being here. And thanks to Russell Johnson, owner of Common Sense Consulting, for joining us as well. And my colleague, James Berger. Have a great afternoon. <laughs>